Okay, this is lesson 8.3 on properties of logarithms. And it is a discovery lesson, um, but I want to go through the table with you just um, for those who are still having a hard time um, making the connections and patterns between the properties of logarithms. Okay, so we look at the first property of the foundations. Um, we can look at example. Uh, if we put this in our calculator, and, and if we think back to... Um, I believe it was less than 8.2. We're always thinking 3 to what power will give me 1? Okay, so 3 to what power will give me 1? We know that has to be 0. Okay, um, three to the, anything to the 0 power will give us 1. Um, and then if the same thing for this one, 7 to what power will give me 1? Of course, it's going to be 0 as well. Okay, so we can make the rule that log base b of 1 will equal 0. Okay, and you could actually type these into your calculator to confirm. Um, if we would like to do that, let's see, let me get my calculator out, okay, and we have to do um, the method of where we're doing log of 1, okay, divided by log of 3, and it does give us 0, so we are correct in our, um, in our property, okay, with our rule. All right, <clears throat> now we want to make, now we have this rule and we want to give an example. So I can see that B is the base and also here. So if I say any number, so let's do two, log base two of two will equal one, okay? Um, it's just saying when the base and this number are the same, it has to equal one. And you could again confirm that on your calculator and it kind of makes sense. If we go to our calculator, wouldn't we be doing log of 2 divided by log of 2, which we know anything divided by itself will give us 1. Log 2 divided by log 2, of course, is going to give us 1. Okay. Um, now we have exponential logarithmic in inverse property, and that is, if you can see here, we have b here and the same number here. So if I say this number is 5, then I'm going to say 5 is going to be here. And then I know it will equal m. Well, what's m? In this case, it's 25. Okay, so when you have a base raised to the log with the same base, whatever this number is is going to be what it's equal to. Okay, so that's the exponential logarithm inverse. <clears throat> and you can also write it this way. When we have log base 2 of 2 to the 6th power, it should equal 6. Okay? <clears throat> So we would can write the rule as log base b of b, these two are the same, to the m power equals m. Okay, again you can check these on your calculator to confirm. Okay, now we have the product. We start off with log base 3 of 8, and then we wrote it as log base 3 of 2 plus log base of 3, or sorry, log base 3 of 4. Okay, so what happened? We had an 8, we still have the same bases, but now we went from an 8 to a 2 plus a 4. Okay, so what happened was, is we took that 8 and we said 2 times 4 is 8. So we can write this as log base b of, let's just say it's m times n, okay, 2 times 4, and we can write it as log base b m plus log base b n. Okay, so whenever we have something that's maybe being multiplied, if we say this was a 2 and a 4, we can then separate it and write it as addition. It's expanding it. Okay, and again, I suggest that you uh, check all of these on your calculator. I'm not going to do this during the video, um, just so the video doesn't get too long. But it would be very um, helpful to check so while you're doing this. All right, the quotient. Based on the product property right up here, can you determine what this equals? Okay, so for multiplication product, we did addition. Therefore, my guess is we're going to do subtraction for this. So I would say log base b of m minus log base b of n. In this example, after we did this, uh, <clears throat> the, the rule, I want to give an example, and I'm going to do log of 2 divided by 3. Okay, and I want to rewrite that. So I just write it as log 2 minus log 3. 
okay? And we know that when we don't have a base, we know that it's 10, if you go back to lesson 8.2. The power property, okay? We have an example here, log of 5 to the second power equals 2 times log to the of 5, okay? So what happened in that 2 is what I can see here is that we moved it down here. So I can write a rule of log base b of m to the n power equals n log base b of m. Okay, so when, when this has an exponent, we can move it down in front here. Two more, one to one, log base two of x equals log base two of five, then x equals five. It's kind of like your same base property we did in uh, lesson 8.1, where when they have the same base, you can actually equal them to each other. So we're going to make a rule here, log base b of m equals log base b of n. So we know that m can be equal to n. Last one, change of base. And I showed this, I believe, in, um, I'm not sure if it was lesson 8.1 or lesson 8.2. Um, but if we look at it, we have log of a, or log base b of a, and we can rewrite it um, with log a over log b. So, for example, if I have log um, 2 of 8, I can rewrite it as log 8 divided by log 2. Okay? Um, and you can check that on your calculator by... Okay, I'm going to put 2. And not every calculator has this option. Um, okay, but you can see log can of 8 divided by log 2. And indeed, we have the same answer. Okay? All right, let's go to the next page and just do a couple of examples here. Not all of them. We need to do some so we can kind of see how we're going to use these properties. Okay, at number one, log base 2 of 14 minus log base 2 of 7. I want to go back to look at my properties, and I can see that I'm going to, I have subtraction. So I want to rewrite it. Um, it says write the expression as a single logarithm. Right now it's two logs. So in order to do that, when I see subtraction, I'm going to think the quotient rule, where I can then write it as log base 2, and I'm going to take 14 over 7. And from there, I can see that I can simplify it to log base 2 of 14 divided by 7 is 2. And even from there, I can see that there's another property that I'm going to use. And we're going to talk about the foundation one, where it's just the basic knowledge that 2 to what power will give me 2, and I know that that's going to be 1. And again, you can type that into your calculator and confirm that the answer is 1. If I look at number two, I see a couple of things. I see addition and I see a subtraction. I want to go in order. And when I see addition, I'm going to use that product. So I'm going to do log base two of five X minus log base two of 10. Okay, and then the subtraction, I'm going to use the quotient. So I'll say log base two of five X divided by 10. Okay, and we can simplify that to log base two of x over 2. Okay. Number 3, I notice that I have a 2 in front and I know that that can go up here to, as an exponent and that's going to be the property power rule, power property. Okay, that's what I'm going to do first is the power property and I'm going to write as log 5 squared plus log 4. And then I can see that I have um, addition here, so that's going to be the power, I mean the product property. We just did the power property. And I know I can do this 20, as 25 first if I'd like. So I'll do log 25, right? We know it's 25 times 4. So I'm going to have log of 100. And we know that when we don't have a base, we know it's 10. So 10 to what power will give me 100? It would be 2. So something that looked kind of complicated, we can figure out if we type this in our calculator, confirm that it is 2. All right, let's do one more from this section. All right, I see subtraction. Again, I'm going to go from left to right, so I know that this is going to be the quotient. 
So I'm going to do log base 7 of 3x over 9x plus log base 7 of 6w. Okay, and I can simplify this to these cancel, and I know that this will be log base 7 of 1 third. And I'm going to multiply it times 6y. And that will give me log base 7 of 2y. Okay, the other examples will be in your um, notes. I'll put those in Google Classroom. Number 7. Um, now it says expand the logarithm completely, simplify if possible. So we're expanding now up there. We had it expanded now and con we condensed it. Now we're going to expand it using the properties. So I can see that this is all being multiplied. So I'm going to separate it. Log base 3 of 8 plus log base 3 of x squared plus log base 3 of y. Okay, and I have one more thing I can do. I can move this down in front using that um, power rule log base 3 of 8 plus 2 log base 3 of x plus log base 3 of y. And that would be my extended, expanded form. Let's look at number 10. I have some division here, some multiplication and division. So let's do the multiplication first because that's these are kind of together since they're in the numerator. So we'll say log um, x squared plus log y cubed, and then we'll do our division, so that's subtraction, divided by log z to the fourth, okay? And we have all these exponents, we can bring them in front, so 2 log x plus 3 log y minus 4 log z, okay? Let's do one more in expanded form. We're going to do number 11. And I first want to um, rewrite this. Well, we know it's multiplication right here. So we're going to do a, change it to the addition. Log base 4 of 4 plus log base 4. And this is going to be actually 3x cubed to the 1 half. Remember, we're changing it to, in that case, exponential form. So we can get that exponent and get rid of that radical. When we have the same base as this number, we know it's going to be 1 plus, write this in front, 1 half log 3x cubed. Well, I can see right here that I'm not quite complete because I have some multiplication. So I'm going to write it as 1 plus 1 half log 3 plus, I'm going to bring this exponent down and 1 half times 3 is 3 halves log of x. So I kind of did two things in one. I brought the exponent down right, because I'm going to separate these, and so I have the 1 half log 3 and the 3 halves log x, because that exponent came down 3 times 1 half, or yes, 3 times 1 half is 3 halves. All right, let's do three more in the next section. We'll do 13, 14, and 15. 13, we know that this is actually log base 10 of 10 squared, okay, because whenever there, there isn't a base, we know that it's 10, and we have to think that 10 to what power gives me 10 squared, or we can look at the exponential logarithmic inverse, and we know that the answer will be the exponent, which is 2. Okay, number 14. Again, we're supposed to do these without a calculator, but of course you can confirm after you kind of identify what's going on. In this case, we know that 9, this is the same, the same as um, number 13. We had the same base, so we know this is 11 minus 4 to what power gives me 64? Well, that's going to be 4 to the third power, Okay, so this, this actually equals 3, and then 11 minus 3 is 8. Okay, so we have these answers so far. 15, again, we're going to look at the exponential logarithmic inverse property. When these bases are the same, we know that we're going to use the 3 minus. This is actually log base 5, 5 to the negative 2 power. Okay, we know that 1 25th can be rewritten as 5 to the negative 2. And whenever we have the same base, we know that it's going to be the exponent. So we have 3 minus negative 2, which will give me 5. Okay? Hopefully those will help. Um, and you can look at the um, answer key notes for the other examples. I will also put a graphing calculator reference sheet in um, with this lesson so you can figure out how to calculate this all on the, using the um, graphing calculator.